All right. All right. Starting over. Number three. <laughs> Hey, Doc Jones here from the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine. Uh, and this is Curly Doc. Yellow Doc. Yellow. We'll start over. <laughs> 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 hey, Doc Jones here from the Homegrown Herbalist School, and uh, this is Yellow Doc, uh, Rumex Crispus. So Yellow Doc is a, is a great plant. It has a lot of names. Yellow Doc, uh, they call it Curly Doc, because uh, the leaves have sort of this, I don't know, spirally kind of shape sometimes. They call it Sour Doc, because it tastes sort of sour. The whole plant's edible. Uh, it's a good edible plant. The leaf, uh, the root, both edible. The seeds also. Um, you, when the seeds dry, you can grind them into flour and make bread out of them. I've heard, I haven't ever done that, uh, but they say that's true. Um, the plant has a lot of iron in it, especially the root. So, uh, I've used this in a lot of anemia cases with, with good results. Um, the root is also, uh, a good liver tonic. And so it stimulates bile flow. Um, and so you can use it for digestive issues. You can use it for constipation because uh, it's a laxative, because more bile means more laxative, right? Um, it's also good for uh, any kind of a skin disorder, eczema, psoriasis, allergies, um, because most of those things, especially the eczema and psoriasis, are the result of liver, you know, liver overload, right? And so uh, feeding the liver, helping the liver do its thing better, helps get rid of those uh, toxins so that so your body doesn't have to get rid of them through your skin, right? So yellow doc's really good for psoriasis and eczema. The reason it's good for allergies is because the liver is the principal organ that, that gets rid of histamines, okay? So if you have more liver function, you have lower histamine levels and you have fewer allergy symptoms, right? Um, so it's not an antihistamine per se, but it's a histamine eliminator, all right? Um, the uh, the root is is very yellow if it's any good. Okay, one of the things you have to really watch with this plant is that uh, if the root is it likes to grow near the water, it likes to grow in the water, and so if you harvest it in or near the water, uh, those roots will be white as a sheet. You know, uh, and if you want good roots, you need to go up the ditch bank a little ways where the gravel dirt is dry and gravelly and hard. And, and the plants are working for a living, right? And those guys will have more medicine in them, all right? So if you pull the roots out and they're, and, you know, cut into them, if they're not yellow, throw it away, you know? Uh, as far as medicine's concerned, you can still eat them. But anyway, that's Yellow Doc, Rumex Crispus. So uh, do me a favor, will you? If you enjoyed this video or if you like learning about herbs, click that little like button down below and share this with, with your friends. That helps us get the word out. It helps more people learn about herbs and we really appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, put them down there and we'll get to them. And, and uh, if you've used Yellow Doc for something and it's been good for you, let us know. This is Dr. Patrick Jones from the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine and thanks for listening.